Hello. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to the stream. Uh, before we even get started, can I just say the cover of this game is like a dude with some sort of weird outfit on, another dude with like red hair above him, and then like two different forms of a bird. I'm assuming it's supposed to be like him shifting from his normal dude form to like that of the bird or whatever, which like that's fine. Okay, whatever. But like it looks kind of, I don't know, medieval-esque, right? Like medieval adjacent. And then we get into this title menu here and there are just gears and things everywhere. It is weird. <laughs> I don't know if the game ends up being steampunky or what. From what I've read, like on the back of the box and stuff, not really. It says like you can shapeshift into 24 amazing creatures. Um, it says you can fight in three diverse environments, medieval, Arabian, and steampunk. I guess it does say steampunk. So maybe there's some steampunk stuff going on, and maybe that's what's up with all the gears or whatever. I don't know, man. Let's, uh, let's figure out a little bit about this game together, shall we? Rue needs someone to end their, their misery. I'm assuming you're sick based off the emoji that you put there. I'm sorry to hear that. That, that definitely sucks, man. Uh, let's go medium difficulty. Sure, sure. Why not? Why not? Um, you know what? I think I turned off <laughs> the capture cards sound the, when I was doing video editing last night. So let's maybe turn that on real quick so we have some sort of idea of what the hell is going on right now. There we go. Things are being up and shit and like, uh, okay. Anyways, <laughs> but hey, Rue, hey, Silence. What's up, man? Nate, hello, hello. Hello, everyone. Okay, so two two civilizations are at war with each other or something. We need to we need to seek someone out because they're the only ones that can can save us. I'm assuming it's us. We're the ones that need seeked out. Question mark. Is that is that us? Are we the the the, the rider dude? storm the castle my lord soon you shall have the prize you seek that sounds there like an no evil way, guy my lord. these are able bodied warriors willing to <laughs> okay dark wizard just zapping the shadow of people oh he shifted them into into monsters okay okay is that where we get our shape shifting ability from eventually i don't know man <laughs> the little bastards got you sick, Rue. That's <laughs> that sucks, man. Sup, sup, what game? I missed that part. Oh, yeah, this is uh, called Shifters on the PS2. I, I know very little about it. This is my first time really playing it, playing it. Um, that, I think, is the dude from the front of the, the box there. So I'm assuming that's the, the guy that we're going to be playing as. I don't know, man. I know very little about the game. I'm not going to lie. I, <laughs> the cover art for it looks uh, kind of interesting. Also kind of cringe, though. So, like, yeah, we'll uh, feast, eh, boy? we'll see. <laughs> Every time he goes or they go to his parents' house, they're always sick. That sucks. <laughs> Going to explode on their mother if you go in for nothing tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> oh man. Oh silence. I also noticed that you did the uh the prime sub. Thank you very much for that, man. You must have done it like when I was offline or something. Or at least I, I didn't see it pop up. But regardless, thank you. I appreciate that. I recognize that you did that, and it is very much appreciated. <laughs> I just hope this game ends up being fun, man. Cause like it looks a little bit interesting from the from the box art and whatnot, a, a mixture of cringe and interesting. So uh, we'll see. But like transforming into a bunch of different creatures, that's always a good time, right? 
It looks like we're starting in medieval. Because there's three diverse environments, man. There's medieval, Arabian, and steampunk. It's not just not just one. You get all three. Three for the price of one, man. It's amazing, I know. That crow raven dude is absolute cringe. I'm pretty sure that's us. <laughs> I think pretty sure we're the crow raven dude. Uh, okay, so triangles jump. That's weird, but whatever. Square. I It did something a moment ago, but I don't know what. X is our regular attack. Very well. And circle shoots some sort of magic attack. It looks like blue up in the right-hand corner is mana. And then the green's probably our health. R1. R1 interacted with the door for some reason. That is odd. <laughs> or L1, I mean, is shield. R1 interacted with the door. L2 is crouch. R2 is center camera. And R1 is interact with whatever's in front of us, apparently. Scroll of thought has raised your mind ability by one. Uh, hell yeah, dude. Raise my mind ability. Healing potion taken. You had a prime linked. You had prime. You linked to the account after work. Well, I appreciate it, man. I really do. It helps out a ton, honestly. You're only going to be here for so long because you have to be there at day 45. No problem, Rue. I just appreciate you being here when you can, man. I totally understand. Everyone's got lives and can't be here like 24-7. That's perfectly fine. Uh, that loads a whole new level. Does this load a whole new level? It does not. So maybe we go this way first. See see what we got going on through here. Oh, okay. So the D-pad. How do we like... Okay, so we can open up a sub-menu by holding a direction on the D-pad. And then we can scroll through it with the right analog stick. So that's weapons. Axe of Vim and Axe of Water. That must be our spell. Bless and Light. Down doesn't seem to do anything. Hey, Noodle. Thank you so much for being here, love. I appreciate you. Uh, did this dude just appear out of nowhere? Did he just did he just spawn in like that? Or was he was he already standing there? I mean, I'm pretty blind. It's perfectly uh, reasonable to think he might have just been there <laughs> the whole time. It's really weird interacting with things with R1. I don't... I'm kind of glad that didn't become the uh, the standard. Like, it's about time I acknowledged you. What do you mean? Have you been here for, like, ever or something? I just now saw the message. Or, well, I mean, I guess it probably appeared a moment ago. Take a little bathy bath. How do we, how do we crouch again? There we go. I just want to... I'm done fighting and murdering, guys. This is my life now. I just want to I just want to spend it in this. I don't even think it's actually a bathtub, but it, it's my bathtub now. Do I have like a fire spell or something? The water's a little bit tepid. Could I warm it up a little bit maybe? Okay, can't go through that door. Fine. You guys look mean. I'm sure uh we're supposed to murder you. How do we use weapons? I feel like or weapons, items. I feel like that might end up being important. Uh, okay, so you, you seem like Magic Lady. We should probably murder Magic Lady. Magic magic people are usually worth murdering early. Um, are you not a person? Are you just a suit of armor? Have you never played this game? It's so janky. <laughs> Why you run like Forrest Gump? <laughs> oh, Lord. Yeah, it's, a, uh, it's an old 3DO game. I don't know if it was made by 3DO or just published by them. But uh, 3DO, if I remember correctly, they did a bunch of, like, fighting games and whatnot in the arcade back in the day, I, I think. I'm no uh, expert by any means on on the history of, of 3DO. <laughs> but I think they had something to do with, with fighting games and stuff back in the day. Uh, okay, so pressing square did something. Oh, it casts light. It casts that, the spell that we have up in the, the top right there. That's why everything suddenly got darker earlier. So wait a second. What's our other spell do then? Uh, water good. Janky white. Wait, what'd I do? what I miss? Oh, reverse, reverse. Holy hell. Hi there. Okay. Uh, well shit. That's gonna make things harder. What was it? It was square. Okay, so that blessed me. I'm assuming bless is a good thing. That's not the movement anymore. That is the, uh... <laughs> that's the camera one. Uh... Oh my god, they made army men? Wait, the... Uh... How do we attack? Is it this one? It's this one, okay. 3DO made army men? Is that what you mean? 
how do you reverse? I'm confused. There's different uh, things that you can that you can make me do in chat. You you spend points, so you don't have to spend any real money on it, but points that you get for for being in the stream. And uh, you can do things like make me take my glasses off. Uh, once a week or whatever, you can make me sing for a few minutes. Uh, we're gonna die if I don't figure out how to use a potion. Um, triangle to back up. Uh select oh inventory maybe maybe we can use a potion directly from here mm, maybe maybe not forms quest map setting save load quick controls well controls maybe it'll tell us there uh anyways yeah so just just a bunch of different random things like that including but not limited to making me flip my controller upside down and play for five minutes which is what rue was just so kind to do to us Action, lock target, inventory, pause, sneak, block, camera, center, camera, move, use item. Uh, down. Down? That's down. So that means I have to press up. Okay. So, quickly press up. There we go. Okay. That used the potion. Uh, thank the gods, although we might die anyways, because I can't... I'm just mashing the X button because I can't do anything else right now. <laughs> Oh, oh! When we're in a uh, oh, we leveled up. Hell yeah! Ooh, some some dope ass slowdown. Whenever we uh, whenever we level up there, that's that's cool, I guess. Um, in games where there's like different characters, you can pick the character that we play as. Uh, that's another one that I just remembered. You can also pick the next game that we play, assuming that it's a game that I own, of course. Um. Yeah, I mean, there's there's different things in there. And if people have ideas for, for things, they're welcome to let me know. And if it's something that I like the sound of, I could add it as another uh, incentive. Uh, I think we need to use another potion. So up. No, down. I have to remember that's actually the down button. Because, like, I'm going to end up fucking myself at some point. <laughs> uh, magic spell. Die. Dude, our magic does, like, nothing. We're also about to fall through this fucking ceiling. Thank God that whenever it, there's, like, auto lock on taking us tor towards the different people. Because otherwise we would be completely screwed, man. A healing potion? Yes. All the fucking heals, please. Can we go through this door? <laughs> Save them and maybe next week can make him sing. Or better yet, you can not do that. That's... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a singer, man. Never have been. I don't know why certain people, not to name any names, uh, but absolutely love that one, though. So I have no choice but to leave it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they would riot if I if I if I took it off as an option. <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to take uh, Chocobo's uh, uh, suggestion and add a cheaper option to make the singing stop <laughs> if i do do that though i'm i'm gonna have to lower the cost of sing mode back down to something a little more reasonable if i put a put another incentive in to stop the singing anarchy would ensue yeah exactly loved the singing of course you did it seems like half the viewers love it the people that uh like aren't normally here get scared off by it which you know totally understandable <laughs> oh god oh now we got some green day or not green day fuck me dude three days grace going on over here let's start a riot i think that's three days grace right oh my lord it's so hard to walk around Thank God it's almost over, and then we can do all the other ones that we got. The hydrate, posture check. Yeah, there's also, like, cheaper ones, too. Like, just reminding me to take a drink. Um, reminding me to check my posture, to stretch, stuff like that. There's there's cheap options, too, but... You need to be punished for that? I, it was a slip of the tongue. I didn't actually think it was Green Day. Holy hell. <laughs> uh. Six minutes. There we go. It's up. Thank God, man. That is so hard. Like <laughs> playing with the the controller upside down. It's actually kind of insane. Uh, but on that note, though, dude, Nate has asked us to hydrate, which means I have to grab a drink because I actually forgot to grab one. 
I have a little bit of a strawberry clear American left, so that is going to be my drink for the moment, I suppose. Delicious. Delicious. I haven't been drinking them as much lately because I'm trying to drink less fizzy stuff. You know, a little bit better for the teeth not doing so. Um, as well as just trying to save a little bit of money. So I've been doing like a lot of just plain water and flavored water. But, oh man, I forgot like how much I liked these things until I bought another one. <laughs> uh. All right. Sorry, I was fixing fixing my socks, and now we're doing our stretches. Everybody do a little stretchy stretch, huh? Gotta get gotta get the back crack in there if you're gonna be, you know, standing up and stretching. And then a somewhat decent posture. Bring the mic back a little bit, sit up straight. There we go. I tend to sit, my chair's pretty big, so I tend to sit in it cross-legged. So, I mean, it's not like a great posture, maybe, but like, <laughs> I'm sitting mostly straight and I'm comfortable. That's all that matters, right? All right, so we got a level up we haven't actually looked at. We have mind, body, and spirit that we can raise. Um, the game itself is telling us absolutely nothing about what those do. Maybe something will be in the booklet let's take a very quick look shall we oh it's still got the uh the registration card in here too wow we should send it off to him then p.o box 174320 denver colorado i can i can send it in and register my copy of the game <laughs> i'm sure i'm sure they're still open and, and waiting for these right hard to stretch in the the tub there noodle you're already in the tub that was pretty quick huh Denver CO, that's the one. Some PO box. I, I'm guessing that's the where 3DO or whoever actually made this game is based out of. Oh, shit. I just threw my instruction booklet. It's all right. I got it. <laughs> Table of contents. We got... I don't care about any of that. Powering up. 11. Page 11. Let's see. What do we got? One of these days, I need to uh, get my green screen or get a green screen because then I could just turn on the camera and show you guys this. So health ready item, blah, 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 use potions, mana bars. That's not, oh, we're on page seven, not 11. That would be why. Eight, nine, 10, 11. Secondary, oh, primary stats. Mind is the basis for intelligence, reasoning, and curiosity. Secondary stat is spell points, okay. So mind increases spells, that's, yep. Body is the basis for physical endurance and stamina, which also increases hit points, surprise, surprise. Spirit is a measurement of an entity's current magical power. When you cast a spell, your spirit determines how powerful the spell's duration, damage, and range are. Oh, okay. So mind gives you more spell points, but spirit increases the level of the stuff that we do. For now, why don't we just dump it into body? Um, yeah, let's just dump into body for now. But as we unlock more more spells and stuff, maybe we'll have to maybe we'll have to look into doing some stuff with the other spells. I don't even really know do from our menu here, our abilities. Nope, not that one. That's the level up stuff. Quests, map, inventory. Oh, there's no like thing that just that tells us what our different spells are. I mean light's pretty obvious. It it just makes a light for us so we can see. I was hoping maybe to get a little bit of info on what Bless does exactly. I mean, I'm assuming it does, you know, some sort of buff for us. But I don't know, like, does it just raise our defense? Does it make our attacks more powerful? What the fuck does it do? I don't know. You just got in. Had to try my watermelon sharks first. Yeah, if I didn't, <laughs> if I didn't know you were talking about candy, I would probably be reacting like uh, the silence right now. <laughs> oh, she got uh, some some gummies. So what are they? Trolley, the trolley brand gummies. And uh, she has watermelon flavored trolleys, but in the shape of sharks. So yeah, a little weird, but that's that's all it is. Um, I'm assuming that's a trap, so I should probably not step on it. Hey, Scroll of Thought has increased our mind ability again. Dope. Thank you for that. Can we, like, do anything with these bookcases? They're okay. Just okay. 
Holy hell. Talk about jank, man. The camera is hella jank. What the fuck? It is getting stuck in all these bookcases randomly flipping around. Like, what is it doing? It's all over the damn place. Oh, that's my link tree, by the way. If you guys ever need my links to, uh, like, the YouTube shorts or the, the dead YouTube channel or uh, whatever, you know, to the VOD channel or something like that. The link tree there has all of that information in there. And look, I knew the trap was there. I tried to jump over it. Oh, there's only a load. There's no, like... Oh, well. <laughs> I guess that's a good note. We have to start saving pretty often. There is no autosave. Well, at least we're not very far into the game. Yes, we'll quit. This will also give us a chance to see if, like, loot and stuff is maybe randomized or something. I don't know. Uh, leave difficulty on medium. Vibration turned on. Yeah, let's go. Not a huge fan of the texture. Also pretty loyal to the Sour Patch watermelons. I'm not a huge gummy person in general, so I just don't eat a whole lot of that kind of stuff. You know? Like, the trolley ones are good as far as, uh, as far as gummies go, but I'm just not a huge gummy person. It's the first time you've seen a link tree that doesn't lead to OnlyFans. <laughs> Did you click on the link, Nate? How do you know it doesn't lead to OnlyFans, huh? <laughs> We've been saying we're gonna make that, uh, Men of Just One More Podcast OnlyFans account. There it is, guys. It's time. I'm joking. There's no, there's no OnlyFans link on there. <laughs> I just, I hated constantly linking, like, all of my different pages, you know, the, the Twitters and the Twitches and the three different YouTube channels and, well, four different YouTube channels if you include the podcast and all that. I hated just linking all of that crap uh, separately all the time, so I was like, I'm just gonna make a, uh, a page, because I've seen those different places on, like, people's Twitter accounts and, uh, um... Instagrams and and uh, every once in a while on YouTube and stuff like that. So I knew it was a thing. So I uh, I googled it. It took me a minute to find it, but I finally found a link tree. And I was like, okay, that's like, <laughs> there we go. Let's go, man. Uh, got that set up and and put it together. So now I could just link one thing instead of everything. Although I will I, I will admit that a lot of times when I see a link tree. There's a pretty good chance it's going to lead to an OnlyFans account, man. <laughs> Just got to wear that Snorlax shirt and then make it. Oh, man, so sexy. Hell yeah, dude. It's good to know I got your guys' support if I uh, if I ever turn to porn. <laughs> uh, don't worry. All of my uh, subs on here will be the first to know. We got we to gotta, like make, work our way up to it, though, right? We, we start here on Twitch and YouTube and whatnot. We get a small following going, and then uh, once we have a small following going, then we get like the the Patreon started or whatever. And uh, one of the 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 one of the benefits of subscribing to the Patreon will be you know you get the uh, the lingerie shots once a month or whatever, right? And then uh, after that, then we got to open up the the OnlyFans for the for the mega fans, right? And uh, that's where they get like the extra stuff too hot for for patreon and then slowly we just turn into a uh, a porn channel just a or a porn a porn tuber i don't know i'm sure there's some sort of <laughs> some sort of word to describe people that mostly do porn on the internet an, an adult entertainment uh star an adult entertainer there we go that's probably the one linktree is a wonderful tool you just usually see OnlyFans link in the list. Yeah, I mean that's that's fair. Like I said, I I I, I totally understand. I feel like I usually see those there as well. <laughs> also, was that audio just all overlapping each other right there? That was fucking terrible. Oh my god. Please, guys, when if you make a game, don't have different uh, sound effects overlap each other constantly. This game, copyright 2002, so it was pretty early in the PS2 life cycle. It is a CD game, which I was a little bit surprised to see, like a, a full 3D game like this being a uh, being a CD game on the PS2. I feel like you see 
that a lot more with smaller like 2D stuff and and whatnot. But I mean that goes to show what I know. I guess is this the way we went last time? I think so. Uh, R1 is not the right button. Holy hell! Top it off by making a adult game on the Patreon. There we go, man. All the the Patreon subs get a uh, a free adult game featuring the the men of just one more podcast. Dude, that spell does like nothing. At least not to not to her, to the to the spell casting. Is that a Khajiit? They look a bit like a Khajiit. Oh, they just got healed too, didn't they? It's fucking spellcasters, man. Can you just die, lady? <laughs> Please and thank you. Potion of invisibility or invincibility? Which one was that? How do we... Oh, that's, that's right. We have, like, the quick select menu thing. Shield of Vim. Oh, my God. The sound effects do all just play over top of each other. That is terrible. Oh, that's weird. So, these are all the different types of potions that are available. And right now, we have six healing potions, five mana potions. And then, I guess, none of the... Oh, wait. No. This must be everything that we have. I thought those were just like all those available. Can we actually use them from here? Restores most HP and mana. Restores HP and mana. Just no. That's too bad. Okay, getting the fuck out of that menu, man. That is. <laughs> oh my lord, why? Why is it doing that? I don't remember it doing that when we were looking through the menus a moment ago. I must just not have been paying enough attention or something. But holy hell, that is terrible. Do we heal when we level up? I wonder. Some games you do, some games you don't, but uh, it would be very much appreciated if we did, because we're about to die, and I'm stingy with potions. You've gained a level. Okay, uh, that answers an important question, though. No, you don't. <laughs> That's all I was trying to figure out. Like, you make one and then patrons get early updates. Then you just stay in alpha phase with forever updates. <laughs> oh man, I guess I guess that's one way to do it. Yeah, just all the Snorlax shirts, man. We're just going to be a, a Snorlax only fan uh, account. <clears throat> all of the photo shoots are going to be a Snorlax, uh, Snorlax. Uh, fuck. Uh, I can't think. Why can't I think, man? Snorlax themed. Everything is just going to be Snorlax themed. Holy hell. Why could I not think? It DC'd me from chat? Wait, what? <laughs> what? It, it DC'd you? Somebody help. I think I'm having a stroke. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Get the onesies? Oh, hell yeah, dude. Let's go. A Snorlax onesie and Snorlax comfy. It seems like Noodle's on the same wavelength there, man. <laughs> Snorlax all for, or uh, Noodle's all for the Snorlax content. Disconnected, that, that makes sense, yeah. That does make sense. Potion of speed. Dude, that's called meth. <laughs> we, our dude's about to do some meth, boy. Let's go. I'm joking. Don't do meth, kids. That's fucking terrible. Uh, we should probably level up while we're in here. Uh, we're just going to do the same thing. Wait. Oh, okay, yeah. Dump it all into body. Keep changes and exit. Square. And then we should probably save before going into the next section. That way we don't, like, die and have to do this little beginning thing again. Oh, my lord. You know, I was having some fun with this game until it started doing that. <laughs> the overlapping sound effects in the menu. That is terrible. Please stop. <laughs> Sorry, guys. You got to conk out. If you do have surgery tomorrow, wish me luck. If you don't, wish me a speedy recovery on being sick. Y oh, hell. Excuse me. Yes, no matter what happens tomorrow, man. Good luck. I hope it all goes well for you. I bet getting that out would be really nice, too. <laughs> you really want a comfy? You'll have to show it to me. I feel like you probably have before Noodle. The, the Snorlax comfy, but I don't remember. <laughs> Mess a hell of a drug, stick to Adderall. Or better yet, 
Don't do either. Unless you're prescribed Adderall, then you should probably take that. But <laughs> just just don't do drugs, kids. That's all I'm trying to say, okay? If you're an adult, then, well, it's not really my place to tell you what the hell to do. But, <laughs> hey, and to be fair, not really my place to tell kids what the hell to do either, now that I think about it. But, like... You know, I think it's I think it's fair to to tell kids not to do drugs. I think I think you get a pass on that one, right? Like it's it's acceptable to tell children that one. <laughs> uh. What is? I hear a sound effect. A claw of what? Is that what we have equipped? Did it automatically equip it? It did. Claw of Talonthraxis, two hand pull arm associated with earth so there must be some kind of uh some kind of of elemental system at work here like some creatures would be associated with one more than another or something oh also it seems like it's not really randomized enemy drops might be randomized but all of the stuff that's laying about seems to be the same for for each run through like, that's the same scroll of mind that we got last time. The the scroll of mind right in the beginning of the game is the same as last time. Oh, there's a scroll of wisdom that we missed the first time we were running through here, though. That's nice. Don't do drugs. Yes, just don't. Yes. Yes. That's, that's the message we're trying to send here, guys. I know we can be a little confusing sometimes, but if you take anything from the stream, just don't do drugs. Please. Alright, so how... Okay, we're going to have to save this time because I don't want to fucking die. But, like, <laughs> jumping didn't seem to do the trick. Can we just maybe, like, inch our way around it? Just very carefully go around the edge so that we don't set that off? Um, I don't know. Also, what was the sound effect that time? Is it just playing random-ass sounds each time we go through here? I'm very concerned. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Okay, so that that sounds not too bad. The one that it's playing now, yeah, it's like a screaming sound when I click on something. It definitely wasn't doing that earlier. Also, did we get a? Is that a ring? Boost defense? Is that is that equipped? Uh, healing potion selected. Okay, yes, I want I want to keep the healing. Oh no, that's mana potion. I don't like inventory. <laughs> oh, my lord. And this one moves the camera around, but only went on this inventory, not on the other ones. Game. <laughs> what are you What are you doing, game? Uh, healing potion, please. And then get that, and then we'll just very, very carefully. Yeah, there we go, boy. Dunzoed. Uh, I'm assuming with this bird dude's, like, metal-ass wings, we can't hurt him oh well he's he's done zone we we destroyed him get fucking wrecked bro mana potion and gold pieces yes please uh chest elixir of life what else give me all the stuff for not dying please thank you can we break the table no okay worth a shot it's in the discord so you can look later i will i will indeed Um, I'm trying to find an editor for the My Tits videos, by the way. Just a, uh, a heads up for, for you guys that are here that are interested in the things that I'm doing. I've been talking to someone. I don't know if they want to be known or not. Um, but I've been talking to someone about maybe putting together a couple videos for me uh, every week. That way we can have... Oh, you're a big-ass elephant. Um, <laughs> but anyways, so that we can have slightly more consistent releases on it because... I really want to have, like, a minimum of two, but preferably, preferably like, four of those released every week. Um, and while those videos don't take a super long time to make, it's still more time than I have. I've so far been able to keep up with one a week easily enough. But like I said, I really want to do, like, two to four. So I've been talking to somebody about maybe helping me out with that a little bit. And uh, they're, they're going to try... Uh, making one or two and seeing how it goes and then we'll we'll go from there on whether they continue to make 
the 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 videos for us or not. Side check elephant in the room. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, this feels like a secret. There's definitely something over there. Can I, like, running jump? Oh god, is there fall damage? I don't. I didn't. I wasn't paying attention. Did we take fall damage? Let's try that again. We got this. Ah, fuck. <laughs> I honestly can't tell if we're taking fall damage or not, especially because I keep swinging this massive fucking pole arm. We are taking fall damage. Okay, that's that's good to note. I should probably drink a health potion. I'm getting whatever this is. I doubt it's even anything that good, but god damn it, I want it. Okay, I think we need to actually jump a little bit earlier because I'm hitting the, the rail there. Ah, oh, that was close. That was fucking close, dude. We're going to try one more time. I want it. Give it to me. Whatever the hell you are. Ah, oh, dude, we were like touching it. I'm so mad. Okay, whatever. Gonna keep going up. Maybe. No, I was gonna say maybe we can jump from like a higher area. Can we like. It doesn't seem like we can get on the rail. Oh, we can get on the rail. Let's go. A potion of endurance, probably not worth it, <laughs> TBH, but you know what? It's fine, man. Lost damn near a whole life bar, had to use two potions, but we got a potion of endurance. Let's fucking go. <laughs> uh, weird growing, growing, glowing green orb. I'm sure that's not dangerous at all. Uh, hi, are you like, shards power have granted you a new form. Oh, okay. That's a good thing. That's a bonus. The bestials are a mysterious race created by the arcane magics of the Grand Inquisitor. Mr. Noodle, thank you so much for the five bits, love. I appreciate you. Um, what is with the random yelling? Okay, so how do we do the forms? Okay, we, we just blessed ourselves. We can we can shoot this dude. Oh, how, how, game, help. <laughs> Why is it a yelling sound effect? Uh, oh, we like, we can level them up. Okay, directional button to select, X to distribute points. Circle to remove points. Square to keep changes, okay. So we, we leveled it up a tiny bit, but how the hell did we use it? Oh, that's a lock on button, okay. So we can actually lock on to like a specific individual if we want, that's cool. Uh, that was a potion that I didn't mean to use. Lloyd's Sanctuary? Wait, when do we unlock another spell? Lloyd Sanctuary, you must overcome the castle's invaders before returning to town. Oh, that just takes us back to town. Okay. Well, that's handy, but I still don't know when we got that even. Did it say something at some point? Am I fucking blind? I mean, I am, but... Uh, okay, whatever. Oh, was that a pile of gold? Dude, pick up the fucking gold. Don't leave that shit. Hi, mysterious statue dude. This level is a lot larger than I had anticipated. I hear the enemy music, but I don't see the enemies. <laughs> it's like some 2001 Animorph shit right there, boys. Okay, so this replaces our weapon and our form. Did like our jumping ability or anything change? Not really. It does feel like we might be moving a little bit faster, though. Is it, like, draining? Potion of accuracy. The scroll of brilliance has raised your mind ability by two. It doesn't seem like it's draining our mana or anything like that. Can I still use other spells while in this form? I can. So there doesn't seem to be any downside to being in the form, other than maybe you don't want to, uh... I don't know, don't want to be in it or whatever. Cop was just tailing you for like seven minutes, dude. <laughs> That's always a terrible feeling. Yeah, it makes you real nervous, don't it? <laughs> oh, shit. Every time a cop tails me in real life, man, I always like start to question everything. Like I know I haven't broken any major laws or, or done any drugs or anything in a long time. Like I know this. This is obvious to me. 
but like as soon as a star cops tell me i'm like holy shit what if there's fucking weed in my car or like <laughs> something along those lines you know and it's like bruh chill obviously you don't have no fucking weed in the car you haven't smoked weed in a long ass time and there's only been like two people in your car ever <laughs> like <laughs> stop being a fucking idiot but i can't help it i can't help it boost defense boost defense and offense i would like to maybe equip one of those rings but i don't know how <laughs> what is with the yelling stop yelling game <laughs> why are you doing this what is wrong with you? Oh my lord. <laughs> I just uh, I, don't, I don't know why every time we click on something it yells at us. It's so fucking weird. The worst part is I'm like 90% sure it wasn't doing that before. It just randomly started it. I'm wondering if like my disc is a little too scratched or something and it's having trouble reading what sound effect it's actually supposed to be playing the yelling's making you giggle well that's good noodle <laughs> as long as it makes you giggle uh will we die if we go down there that body in the trunk might be back oh shit <laughs> but exactly though like it's that sort of stuff like things i know for a fact aren't like I know I'm, I don't have anything illegal I didn't do anything illegal besides like maybe going a few miles per hour over the speed limit but it's like every possible thing cross your mind. I imagine it's how, or uh, I've never gone through like TSA, but like uh, security at courthouses and stuff like that. Whenever I'm passing through it, I'm like thinking back like, oh my God, do I have like a knife or a gun or something on me? Like I don't, right? It's just like, I'm pretty sure I don't, but oh my God, what if I do? And it's like, dude, just fucking chill. You know, you don't have any weapons on you. Why are you being stupid? <laughs> but that's what it feels like nonetheless. When do we get to be that, uh, that, that, is it a goat? Uh, is it a dog? I don't know what it is on the screen right now, but when do we, when do we get to be that one? I want that one, daddy. Try to be sly and make me think you lost him. Ooh, ooh, trying to trick you, man. Convergence. What are we, what are we converging on? Also, does this dude, like, have really high defense or something? Because his, uh, DPS isn't that high. The DPS... Oh, hi, elephant bro. The DPS is definitely better on our regular dude. But maybe this guy has, like, super high high defense or something. Does he have a block? He does. Okay. Ah! Dude, oh, God. Okay. Kill, kill the elephant! Holy fuck, dude. <laughs> Don't call the cop daddy at just an FYI. Wait, are you not supposed to do that? That's how I've gotten out of all my tickets, man. I just say, please, daddy. And he's like, dude, just fucking stop. And I'm like, but daddy. And then he's like, no, for real. And then he puts me in cuffs and tell him how much I like it like that. You know what I mean? It's a good time. It's a good time. Now, nah, I've never had any of that happen. You now, I've only ever actually been pulled over like, what, two or three times? I think three times, and only once because I actually did anything. Once the cop said that I flashed my, I, I not flashed my high beams, but that I had my high beams on, and uh, now we're drinking mana potions randomly. Good job, us. Um, and then, and I wasn't. And once he realized that, he let me go. And then, uh, once because the tail light was out, the 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 light on the. Oh, hi, another elephant, bro. Uh, I can't see. Uh, help. <laughs> Someone, please. <laughs> uh, game? <laughs> I don't know what I'm hitting. Uh, the, the light on the fucking license plate was out on the, on a vehicle that I was driving. It wasn't my vehicle. Um, so I was pulled over for that. And then lastly, it was for speeding. And, uh, but the cop just let me go that time. So that was cool. But yeah. When you did it, you woke up in a room. Ooh, kinky. Did you have some uh, different kind of handcuffs on your wrists, you know? Maybe some fuzzy ones or, or some silken rope? <laughs> Noodle's just, ew. <laughs> Nate's lol. <clears throat> Noodle doesn't like the whole daddy thing. They do not appreciate it. I think it's hilarious, though, so... <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Excuse me, uh, wizard lady. If you would like to drop a potion of health, I would be forever grateful. Um, no, no potion of health. Okay. I kind of need one though. Uh, we'll do that. Oh, hi. You're you're a bird. <laughs> we're fucking. We're dead, dude. We're we're dead. You were chained to a furnace. Oh shit! Some saw stuff going on, huh? Hell yeah, dude. Oh, you're you're dead. How long has he been dead? And we've just been wailing on him. It's because you have cop supporting stickers on your car. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever I bought the car. Whatever the, the local police force for that area was, they must have, like, supported some sort of charity drives or something. Um, and uh, so, like, they had a sticker on the, the back of the car saying how they supported them. And I always joke that that's why I get away with, with stuff. <laughs> because they just see the sticker and they're like, oh, he's cool, let him go. <laughs> Which, obviously, I have no idea if that's true or not, but, like, I'm, I'm fine with that. If you wanna, if you wanna let me go because of some sticker that's on my car, that's that's perfectly reasonable. Uh, I really don't know how to put on any of the armors or anything because we just picked up something, did we not? I guess just whatever we have highlighted. But no, that looks different on our character model though. Circle drops it. Oh wait. Oh. But are we wearing it now? Uh, okay. I think I think maybe we're okay. Let's save because we're probably gonna fucking die soon. I can't help but notice that the sound effects have changed again for for the inventory. So I definitely think it has something to do with like a fucked up disc because it's no longer yet like a yelling sound. It's now just a very faint like chirp or something like that. I don't even know what the fuck to call it, but. I didn't know we were playing a randomizer. I thought we were just playing, you know, a normal version of this game, but... Oh, dope. We must have picked up a healing potion. I didn't know it. Let's go. Elixir of life. That one, I think, is the one that heals us. Potion of speed, endurance, accuracy, mana. Elixir of life. Let's do... Let's do elixir of life. Bring back the yelling. I don't have control over that. <laughs> it just... It just kind of does it on its own. It's random. The game's random as fuck. I feel like... I feel... Oh, shit. I feel like we're gonna die is what I feel like. Um, does this pause the game? It does. Bless. I feel like we need some blessing. Uh, daddy, bless me, please. Uh, d daddy? No. <laughs> we're fucking dead. G fucking G. <laughs> oh, fuck me, dude. Bring back the yelling sad face. I don't have control over it. Maybe when we load back in from the save game here, maybe maybe then we'll have some some more yelling for you. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I refuse, okay? If I want to call the elephant's daddy, I'll call the elephant's daddy. It's my life and you can't control me, mom. <laughs> or should I say mommy? Hey there. How you doing? <laughs> she also hates the mommy thing in case that wasn't clear. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Daddy, no! <laughs> God. I love you, Noodle. <laughs> uh, I I don't know how you're not used to it by now. Yo, my lord, game load, please. Do I need to, like, clean my disc? I might need to take my disc out and clean it. I don't think you do. You don't think I do what? I'll love you? No, I definitely love you. That's why I fuck with you so much. Mana potion, potion of accuracy, endurance, speed, invisibility, restoration. There we go. Okay, yeah. So that 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 healed us a fair bit. I think maybe we'll be okay now. Let's lock on to the fucking elephant, bro. Oh, I just realized too, since we're using a two-handed weapon, we no longer having a. Uh, we no longer have a shield. I didn't think about that. Okay. Uh, I mean, not that I really like ever block anyways. So it's probably better to just be using a two-handed weapon. Uh, hi, Hawk Bro. Why is it blue on you? But for the for the elephant, bro, it was just uh, 
green. Oh, you're not dead yet. And for them, it was like a darker blue. And for the hawk bro, it's a, a lighter blue. I'm sure that means something. Maybe it has something to do with like the difference in level between the two people or something. I'm, I'm completely guessing here. I don't know. Uh... Uh, game? Can we, can, can the fucking camera please work with me a little bit? Oh, look at that lad ladder climbing animation, bro. Game came out in 2002. Elder Scrolls still doesn't have ladders. Fucking terrible. It really does amaze me that, that they don't have fucking ladders in those games at this point. Like, they've been making them for how long? And they still haven't gotten ladders. <laughs> Think of the verticality they could add to their level. Oh. Uh, hi, friends. Uh, don't mind me. I'm just... I didn't mean to fall down here. Load a new level. No, let's finish exploring the level we're in first, maybe. Uh, let's bless ourselves. Lock on to the elephant bro. Oh, dude, he died so quickly. We're fucking gods. Let's go, man. I'm completely lost. We have a map. Should I use the map? I could use the map, but nah, it's fine. I'm just gonna be a... I'm just gonna be a... a good old toxic uh, masculine male and not use the map, even though we are very clearly lost. Is that where we came from? I know we came down here at one point. Why? Oh, hi! Do people re-fucking spawn? Holy shit, dude. They're, you guys weren't in here earlier, I know for a fact. Because it was just that hot guy, and I already murdered him. People must respawn and randomly at that? I don't know, man. I feel... <laughs> I feel really confused. Also, that was some, like, fanfare shit. And I don't know why we were getting fanfare for just opening a door. Are these things supposed to be spawning where they're spawning at? Or is that, like, happening randomly too because my game's fucking broken or something? To be fair, you feel like it took eight years for them to add a jump button to Dark Souls? I mean, that's that's true, yeah. I can't, I can't argue with you there, man. Or wait, whenever we pulled that lever, didn't it open a door or something? So maybe, maybe we do want to go into that area and then, then maybe that's like a new level question mark. Maybe jump down here and then go this way. Sure. Let's load into the new level. Oh, hi there. Okay. Salo, old friend. I came as soon as I received word. And not a moment too soon. I see you have learned the ancient art of shapeshifting. It is a useful tool when dealing with evil. Only a god has the ability to change form. Are you a god? Elrond, let me yes. You to Call me daddy. I mean god. Sorry. Same thing. Don't let my appearance frighten you, princess. It is a gift as much as a curse. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I thought he was just like into some BDSM shit or something. I didn't realize that was like... Attached to his body, what the hell? So wait, that, that dark sorcerer dude like grafted a thing onto our face and then dropped us into a hole? Oh my. The mask allows me to see the darkness in the hearts of men. A besieged by Landria welcomes you, brave warrior. The mask lets him see the darkness that lies in men? What the fuck? <laughs> that Sky Daddy? Ooh. is safe now, your majesty. If it were only so. In fact, it is in greater danger than ever. He inquisitors our mother. I wish this game wasn't so damn quiet. But he will return. What does the Inquisitor want with Bylandria? It's not Bylandria that he wants. I have it turned up like all the way. It's just fucking really quiet. At least compared to, like, other games that I play and shit. Ooh. Is that all mine now? I saved your ass, so you're giving me all that gold, right? That seems fair. Because without me, you'd be dead, and then I could have just came in here and took the gold anyways. Gift from the gods. 
a harp? Do I look like a guy that plays the harp? I'm assuming that wasn't like it for the medieval levels, right? Because if that was it for the medieval levels, according to the back of the book, or I'm sorry, the back of the box, there's only three different types of levels. <laughs> Game, are you going to load or did you break? I might need to clean my fucking disc. On the back of the box, while we're waiting six years for it to load, it says, The world has begun to change. Deadly creatures of metal and flesh roam the lands. Their origin, a complete mystery. Structures of steel and steam have begun to replace once quaint medieval villages. Somehow, you know there is a connection between these bizarre changes and your own newfound power to shapeshift. Stop the paradox and reverse the damage before the universe is lost forever. Yes. Stop the uh, advancement of men because you don't like it. <laughs> hmm. Damn you and your technology. <laughs> it's everything that's wrong with this world. Not bad men doing bad things. No, it's your technology. It's strange and I don't like it. Explore the town and do shit. Okay, we can probably do that. Can I maybe like put away my weapon or nope, we just we're just gonna have the weapon out for Oh my god. What was that sound effect when we were breaking the barrels? It's every time I take a step. Oh my god, this is so bad. Nope. Mm -mm. Okay. You know what? It's almost time for a break. So, <laughs> oh my god. I'm going to save right here. Then we're going to take our break. And while I'm on the uh, the ad break, we are going to uh, clean the disc a little bit and reboot the game. And, and fucking pray to whatever we believe in that <laughs> it fixes all these random ass sound effects, man. Holy hell. I think it was the sound that, like, the elephant makes every time I take a step. And then, like, a hundred screams overlapping with each other every time I... Okay, it didn't make the same sound that time. It just made a random... <laughs> Alright, yeah. No, not fucking around with that. I'm going to... I'm going to clean the game and whatnot. We'll be right back in just a few minutes, guys. Thank you again for being here. Oh, boy. We'll do... Auto. Auto seems fair. Uh, already we got some weird popping off in the distance here, but that's okay. We can get over that sort of thing. Not that big of a deal, and when you're playing a bunch of old retro games and whatnot, popping is the standard. Can we interact with the people? It doesn't seem like it. The frame rate feels a little off on this game. It's just, just first impression here. Like, everything feels a little, uh... A little jerky, right? But let's see. Dialogue tutorial. This is Joseph's friend, Moloch. And Joseph can talk to nearby friendly characters by pressing X. The game pauses, a cursor appears, blah, blah, blah. You can cycle through all characters in range with the left analog stick. Okay. Characters with important information have double exclamation parts above their heads. Once you have selected the character with whom you would like to speak, press X again to initiate a conversation. Go ahead and talk to Moloch. Weird, I guess. Uh, okay. We worked in the fields, planting weed and rye. The day's shadows grew long. Over Native's Hill, I saw the ride, them ride. Four horsemen with an army of butchers close behind. Well, that sucks. <laughs> when Joseph is talking to a character, the dialogue appears in the top half of the window. The bottom half of the window contains a list of relevant topics that we can ask about. So, pretty standard uh, uh, dialogue system here. Although... At the time on PS2, this was probably pretty neat to have, right? Because you didn't really get this sort of thing on console. I'm sure there were other games that did it, but I'm thinking like Outer Scrolls on the Xbox 360. I guess uh, the original Xbox had Morrowind, right? Been reading more of Strixhaven. They include fellow NPC students that have their own backstories. Very cool. Can they like join the party, Nate? Or are they just kind of their own separate thing? Just kind of like world filler building type of stuff. Uh, when a topic has been covered, it is removed from the topic list. New topics are added to the list as more information is uncovered. Access to new topics can also be gained after completing quests or talking to other characters. 
very standard stuff. Moloch has quite a bit to tell Joseph. Go ahead and continue talking to him. You can stop the conversation at any time by choosing the farewell topic or just pressing triangle. Very nice. Horsemen, you say? Half men, half beasts, villains from a bard's song. They carved poor Ruag in half. They attacked us with arrows of flame. He who survived are too scared to stay and too scared to run. Well, I mean, you kind of have to do one or the other. Remember that many characters in Summoner have important and interesting things to say. Talk to everyone you can. I mean, that's kind of standard RPG affair, right? If you're playing an RPG and not talking to everyone, you're probably doing something wrong. Uh, no, please don't. Can we, uh, can we, can we, nope. Okay, we just have to watch that dude get murdered. Cool. Uh, <laughs> this Iranian scout is about to attack Joseph. Joseph will have to fight back. You can attack enemies by pressing X when they are within range. When you press X, the game pauses and a cursor appears under the nearest enemy in range. You can cycle through all enemies with the left analog stick. The red bar over the enemy represents its current hit points, which decrease as he takes... Yeah, we know what hit points are. After you've selected the enemy you'd like to attack, press X again. Once a target has been selected, just automatically engages the enemy. He continues to fight until he or his foe runs out of HP, or you issue him another command. So it kind of fights on its own, and then we just do special abilities kind of deal. That makes me think of Final Fantasy VII Remake, probably because I'm playing through that game right now as well. But they have a auto mode. The red bar next to Joseph's portrait represents his HP. If Joseph's HP drops to zero, he's dead. If everyone in your group is incapacitated, the game ends. If an enemy attacks Joseph and you do not respond, Joseph automatically draws his weapon and defends himself. During combat, numbers appear over the character's head. Numbers in which represent damage to enemies. Uh, yellow represent damage to Joseph. Numbers in blue represent percentage modifiers to that character's attack. You receive a bonus for attacking a creature from above or behind, and penalized for attacking from below. Game will now unpause, and we can do stuff. Cool, cool, okay. So, draw your sword, and start attacking, Joseph! Can we, can we D-pad? Too fast? What? Too slow. Okay, so there seems to be some sort of timing that we need to do with the, the with the keys so there's some something to that you can't just press a d-pad button and have him do the move because every time i try to hit it, it was saying like too fast too slow whatever so some sort of trickery there i'm sure a tutorial will pop up at some point when the guard died he dropped his weapon you can pick up nearby items on the ground by pressing x you can see a targeting cursor like the one used to target characters but it appears on the item that is closest to you as with targeting characters you can use left analog stick to select something else during battle joseph may take damage joseph has a spell called heal that he can cast to restore hp to himself or others in his party you can access the spells menu by pressing circle very nice joseph can also use healing potions that are in inventory you can access the inventory screen by pressing triangle okay so here we have different spells uh, so, uh, looks like... Oh, Jesus. This is the spells menu. Along the top of the menu are the six different circles of spells. Heal, dark, energy, holy, fire, and ice. Uh, that should just be holy fire. Not holy, comma, fire. They can travel with you, but it's suggested not to allow them with the combat for encounters, but for other stuff, sure. Ah, okay, okay. So they're not really, like, meant to fight, but they're there more for flavor and just to talk to other NPCs and gather information, world building, that sort of stuff. Very nice. Very nice. This is, yeah, yeah, you can scroll between the various circles by moving left or right. You can select spells within a circle by moving up or down. At level 1, Joseph has access to the heal spell. To cast heal, press either X or circle when the spell is highlighted. A window is all, oh, okay. a window also appears, listing the available targets for the spell. We are back. A Hello. spell that helps Joseph and his allies can be used only on them. Transition back over to the right screen there. The game is back up and running with any hope. Okay, okay. Oh my god, sound effects sound normal again. <laughs> Let's just fucking hope it stays that way. Hold on, let's break this barrel. Okay, when we run around, we're not getting random ass things. That's a good sign too. Is there like in the options, is there... Here we go, settings. Is Can we like turn the volume up? Yeah. Just turn everything up. It's all very quiet very quiet no yelling i don't think there's gonna be any more random yelling love how about this every time we do anything you just yell for us a little bit okay like here i'm gonna i'm gonna break this barrel whenever the barrel breaks i just need you to yell some some whatever you want to yell just go ahead you ready ready i'll count down for you three two one break did you did you yell did you make a nice sound effect for us like <laughs> what you didn't like that idea Oh, I thought it was great, man. 
We can visit the smithy. Okay. Hi there, smithy. You look like you're ready to fight. <laughs> I'm not trying to fight you, I promise. Greetings, traveler. What would you like? I have some... Or I know I need some equipment. I guess this is what we do with our gold. That would make sense, eh? Two-handed pull arm that's water-based. Okay, so... To change item type. Right, is there a way that I can see... Okay, there it is. Cell mode. Oh, so this Axe of Vim fucking sucks. It seems like it's also worth zero gold pieces, so I don't know if it's even worth selling. That one's worth 100, and it fills up that much of the little attack bar. Okay, okay. So it's about the same as that one, the Melthrax Blade. This one is better, the Staff of Contagion. It's a two-handed staff. It's a little bit better, but is it worth buying? I don't know, man. Uh, is that Was that staff two-handed or one-handed, though? Two-handed, okay. Ooh, well, I mean, I don't think we can wear both rings, so we might as well sell one of them, right? I, I think that's okay that we did that. We want to keep our armor. Okay, so that's everything for you. Let's go back. Let's leave. Is there anyone else? I feel like after I restarted the game, the game got even quieter. Maybe I maybe I accidentally turned down my headphones or something. I hope you guys can at least kind of hear the game. Uh, can we steal? Are you going to be mad? The Scroll of Revelation has raised your spirit ability by three. Dude. Seems like finding random scrolls is leveling up sub more than like actually leveling is. So exploration is probably important then. So uh, let's follow the road. Hi there, person. Excuse me, sir. I have to finish my chores before my husband comes home. Ma'am, your husband died battling the beast men? Oh. I don't have any option. I have to tell her that. Uh, no, no, he's fine. He's a strong man. He will be home soon. Uh, ma'am, <laughs> please. I'm trying to tell you. Uh. Okay. Why did it just back out like that? I guess she's just in denial, and that's just the way of showing that she's in denial by putting a text box on the screen that is now not disappearing ever. It's just there forever now. There it goes. Okay. <laughs> can we... We can break. Uh, Hulk smash. Wait, why can I not break these barrels? What's so special about those ones? Are these... Are, is that supposed to be hay or wood? I think it's meant to be wood, but it kind of looks like hay. I don't know, man. I'm just a guy. No entry. Fair enough. What about you? Nope. Okay. I'm guessing the doors that look more painted on are ones that we can't actually interact with. Nah, is there any other shops? There's no way there's just a smithy in this town and that's it, right? Like, there's got to be something else. Or, no, nah, I guess that's not quite true because this looks painted on. And okay, I was going to say we can interact with it, but we, we can't actually. Um, are, are they closed? Is there a day-night cycle? Oh, maybe I need to go upstairs. Hold on. Excuse me, game. I need to go up, up, up the stairs, please. And then you don't have a door, sir. I don't know if you know this or not, but there's no door in your shop. Also, all the shelves behind you are completely empty. Beastmen have the exit to town blocked, and my business suffers as a result. If this fighting doesn't end soon, you'll be forced to leave for more peaceful lands. Fair. Oh. Okay, I didn't murder him. That's good. I would love to help you, but I can't seem to do anything. So, I guess I'm just gonna leave, dude. Sorry about your business and shit. I uh, hope that all works out for you. Or whatever. The porter's home? What is... What is that? Why does that sound familiar? A porter's home. Is that is that a thing? Should I know that? What's with the thing down in the bottom left-hand corner? Merrily, I have not seen my husband since he went to fetch old Shannon's wine. I fear for his safety. If you should see him, send him to me. I'm so worried. Uh, maybe he just went to fetch a little more than Marley's wine, if you know what I mean. Just saying, your husband could be a, a lion-cheating bastard. I, do, I mean, I don't know, man. I've never met your husband. I'm just saying it's a little suspicious, don't you think? 
that upstairs door is locked. Do you hear any weird, like, uh, sounds coming up there, you know? Maybe, like, some ghostly moans or something like that? I, he could be up there. I, you might want to check. That's, that's all I got to say, man. I'll, I'll, I'll leave you to your own, to your own business there, though. I'm gonna run around this town and see if there's anything else I can fucking do. Are you the same lady I talked to before? No. Bur Burl? Hello, I found this purple flower with yellow spots on it. Do you think it's pretty? You should head home. The streets are very dangerous right now, little girl. That's... That's a little girl? I honestly thought you were a full-grown person. Oh. I'm glad you don't really seem to mind that I just smacked you with my thing. Uh, Shannon's home. Hi, Shannon. I want some wine to grieve my husband. I can't be seen in such a place as a bar. Would you get it for me? Tis a bar under the storehouse. Say the password, nerd. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking nerd. To get by the doorman. Please fetch me some wine. Okay. Under the storehouse, you say? Why is there fighting music going on? Are the sound effects broken again already? Also, holy fuck, please break the thing. Thank you. If I ever start up a speakeasy, that's going to be the, the passcode now. Just so everyone knows, it's going to be nerd. If you don't say nerd, you're not getting in. <laughs> no booze for you. Nerds. The hospital? Okay. I'm just, I just need the bar. Where? Under the storehouse. That that was the smithy. Is this is this the storehouse? I don't you, you didn't really tell me where the storehouse was, lady. You just said not far from here and I needed to shout nerd. The porter's home. It's not there. Maybe under the general store. Maybe that's what she meant by storehouse. Uh nerd. Mr. Nerd, please let me through. Someone help. I don't know, man. I'm kind of, I'm kind of giving up on the side quests here. I'm already, I'm already lost. <laughs> I'm clicking on every door I can find. None of them are letting me in. Somebody, please let me in. I just need wine for a grieving woman. I mean, you can finish your chores all you want. I don't think that's going to help, though. I'm sorry. And then we tried to go in this one already, right? Yeah. I think that's just about everywhere, man. That's the smithy. This is the exit. Nope, that is nothing. Okay. The hospital. Uh, da -da -da. The hospital for souls. That's Bring Me the Horizon song. Pretty good if you're into that sort of thing. Find the scruffy nerf herder and call him nerd. <laughs> nerf herder. Now you're just making up words. <laughs> what about the hospital? I mean, surely you have some wine around here somewhere, right? The scroll of brilliance has raised your mind ability by two. Is there no nurses or anything in this fucking hospital? Oh, there's someone in the bed, though. Hi. Elder Bargstrom. Ever since I traveled back from the east, I have suffered an illness. Will you find my Landria's healer and find a cure to my disease? Uh, sure, man. Can I? Oh. <laughs> I was gonna hit him with my axe, but... Oh, shit. I just realized, though. We have the axe equipped. We want that one. Not the axe. No. We want the giant fucking pole arm. All right, I give up. I'm done looking. Let's, uh... Is this this door let us out? You're about to proceed to the next hub. You cannot return to the current hub once you've left. Are you sure? I guess, man, because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing here. I shouted nerd at like 13 different doors and none of them opened. I don't think it's working. I think they lied to me and there is no speakeasy in this town. I don't know why they lied to me about it, but yeah. I'm pretty upset. <laughs> uh, are people dead? Hi, dead people. Uh, can I can I help you? Maybe.
Hey, you there. You must help us. There is a terrible plague in the air that spans the whole city. People say the tomb in the desert is to blame. Uh, I would rather not, right? Like, if there's a tomb in the desert that's spreading the plague, honestly, I think I'd rather just stay away from the tomb in the desert. I'm just throwing that out there. Like, <laughs> you can find Gustaji and his camel near the snake charmer. Please hurry. Uh, so wait, this is the Arabian style one. So hold on a second. Yeah, if this is the Arabian style one, then we are into the second section of three. So either we skipped a lot of stuff, we'll be revisiting stuff, or this game is actually really short. <laughs> I don't know which one, but also you guys look friendly. Why are you blue? Sultan will not see anyone until the plague is under control. I mean, that seems fair, honestly. You know? Like, if I was a Sultan, I would stay locked the fuck up, too, if there's a plague going around, man. Honestly, I don't know why I'm here during the plague. I would rather not be here getting the plague from all these sick people. Don't I have, like, a home somewhere? Just a bed that I can lay down in? And maybe do my own thing? Stop being the hero. I don't remember anyone asking me if I wanted to be the hero. I was just kind of expected to. The white lily grows where the desert water flows. Wow, that's deep, man. Thanks for sharing that. Uh, it's not really helpful, though. I don't know how to get out of here. Let's look at the map. I'm, I'm breaking down. I'm going to look at the... The quest log. <laughs> That's okay. That's not what I meant to do. Whatever. King Avalard and his court have been saved from the bestial menace. Oh, so we already completed that one. Okay. Obtain information about your father, the god Einar. Wait a second. So we are a god, or at least the son of a god. But at the end of the day, aren't we all the son of god? Anyways, stop the Grand Inquisitor. Thwart to the Grand Inquisitor's attempt to overtake Ardon by force. Is that why we're here in this Arabia area? I'm still confused about what's going on. I'm just going to break stuff, man. I never wanted to be a hero. I just wanted to be a miner, you know? Hit rocks with, 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 with steel. Uh, are you Gestadi and his camel? <laughs> you are. Okay. That's cool. Your your camel will take me to the desert tomb. Thank you, camel. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's load a new level because I don't know what the fuck else to do, man. I feel like with this game, right? I feel like they were like, you know what's popular right now? 3D RPG games, man. We need to make a Western style RPG and capitalize on what is sure to be huge money. It can't be that hard, right? And then they started to throw something together with a decent premise and was like, wow, this is actually kind of fucking hard. And they were like, you know what? We can just fucking ship it. Nobody's going to give a fuck. <laughs> we'll just sell it. Everyone will buy it. And by the time word gets around that it fucking isn't that great, it'll be too late. We'll already have all the fucking money in the world. I'm pretty sure that's what happened there. Are those giant sand dunes in the distance? Is that what's stopping me from going there is that a pyramid are those pyramids i don't know what's going on there's some healing potions on the ground though and some dead camels i'm sure that's a good sign right you look like a person are you bad person you're not friendly person well you died easily enough uh break the thing please thank you gold who just leaves their gold pieces in a chest why would you not carry your gold pieces on your person? If you leave them in a chest, someone's surely going to come along and steal them. Hey, got another level though. Do we just keep dumping in body because like magic seems to kind of suck? Also, if we're in like section two now, we really didn't do anything in section one. So if we don't revisit, I'm going to be concerned for the pacing of this game. 
Although those first couple enemies that we just fought, whatever they were, uh, ooh, glad that didn't kill us. Uh, is there maybe a ladder we can go down instead of just jumping? Anyways, as I was saying, they were pretty easy to deal with, though, so who knows, man. Maybe, maybe it'll be okay. Here's hoping. Fingers crossed and all that. Uh, invisible walls for the win. Hell yeah, let's go. Uh, we're grave robbers now. Also nice. Oh wait, you're the you're the 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 tomb dude. That that I'm here to kill. I think. Uh no, I don't want to. I don't want to fuck with y'all. I wanna I wanna kill the tomb dude. Yes, this one. If I just keep swinging my my giant pole arm, I think he'll die eventually. Uh, can I swing, maybe? Uh, there you go. You're welcome. I saved the entire world. <laughs> uh, anyways. Where's the fucking... We got some more regular potions, right? Healing potions, yeah. Let's drink one of those, I guess. And then, do we just... Is there only one way to go? Can we go through here? We can. I mean, they just said the tomb in the desert was the cause, right? So I kind of already did what I needed to do. Do we even need to fight these other dudes? Or can we just go back to town now and, and tell the, the Sar or, or whatever his fucking title was that we fixed your problem for you? The plague the plague be gone, man. Oh, there's a Jafar-looking motherfucker. Hi. Oh, well, goodbye, friend. Look at that fancy blue light. Ooh, am I on fire? Well, I mean, it doesn't, it definitely doesn't feel good when we walk into it, but it doesn't seem to hurt us for that long either. From a cursed, from cursed desert sands, an evil power has raised the dead spawn to vile unlife. Oh shit, you actually get to choose a form? Did we get to choose with the first one? I'm so mad now, dude, because if we got to choose with the first one, we probably pick like the lamest one. We can be a Cregan? I've always wanted to be a Cregan. Genies are mysterious beings of pure magic. From Curse of Devers. I mean, let's be a Cregan, dude. Nightmarish, heartless creatures from beyond our time and space. Yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. Give me give me some Creganese. <laughs> Wait, view past? We got another magic spell? Only while in Cregan form. Okay. Cregan grunt. Uh, Game is loading. There it goes. They have chocolate milkshake milk? Dude, that sounds pretty good. Who Who is they, though? This is important. <laughs> I need to know who they are that have chocolate milkshake milk. Also, wouldn't a chocolate milkshake milk just be chocolate milk? We fucking roll? Dude. <laughs> are we using our tongue to attack shit? We are. Holy fuck. I'm in love. <laughs> <laughs> I take back any negative thing I've ever said about this game. It's all alright because the fucking Cregan are baller, dude. Oh. Did we just travel into the past or can we like see stuff that isn't here? I, I, I'm a little confused about what this actually does. There's a tower up there. Was there always a tower up there? Hold on. Let's go climb. Can, can Cregan climb? They can. Cregan can climb well. 7-Eleven has it. Wouldn't that... I, did I, I don't even know if I finished my thought, dude. ADHD is a fucking bitch sometimes. I was trying to say... I don't know if I ever did. But wouldn't a chocolate milkshake milk just be a, a melted chocolate milkshake? Also, we are very slowly sliding down this... Uh, <laughs> this this thing here and there's some artifacting on the screen huh yeah I think this game might be jank dude I don't know oh no look at that okay so this fire's burning now and it, it wasn't before these camels are alive that fire is burning on that pillar now where it wasn't before oh okay uh, there's a couple moons in the sky or suns or something. I don't know if those were always there. I guess that was a different time of day, though, so that might be normal. That's kind of neat. 
and that item that was on the ground, I wonder if... Oh, fuck, dude. <laughs> we kind of need to use the ladder sometimes. Uh, that scroll we found, I wonder if we only found that because we were viewing past, or if that's something that I just missed when we were going through the first time. I don't know. This is kind of neat. I, I, I like the Cregan dude. Cregan dude gets a gets a A plus from me. You want a milkshake noodle? Get yourself a milkshake, bro. Didn't Hershey's make milkshake chocolate milk? I don't know. Did they? If they have, I've never seen it that I can think of. But that doesn't mean they didn't, though. They very well could have, and I've just missed it. It does sound good, though. Chocolate milk in general sounds good. I'm excited for that cheesecake that you made, Noodle. I'm excited for a little bit of that, man. Maybe maybe just a tiny bit of caramel on top. Although, I've had way more sugar today than I really should. So, maybe no caramel. Even though it's really good on the cheesecake. Inside the pyramid. I didn't even realize that's what we were going in. Was a pyramid. Um, that wasn't part of the deal. The deal was... You make cheesecake, I eat cheesecake. <laughs> that was it. That was the entire deal. I'm just gonna keep going into the view pass mode. I don't know if it's really useful or not, but like... Also, Creek and Attack be fucking dope, dude. Hell yeah. We don't even need anybody else, dude. Screw our human form. I'm I'm Kregan for life, man. Let's go. Can Kregan jump? Kregan can't. They can do everything. They can see into the past. They can murder dudes like nothing else. They can swim. They can jump. Kregans are fucking OP. Scroll of vigor. Hell yeah. Collect that. And murder fools. I didn't mean to go into past view there, but that's fine too. Let's <laughs> let's do it. Why not? I eat cheesecake when Noodle gets milkshake. Uh, how about I eat cheesecake and you can have milkshake whenever you're somewhere that sells milkshakes? <laughs> I mean, if you really want to go to Seven Eleven or something to get a milkshake, I will I will take you, of course, <laughs> or uh, or sheets or or whatever or whatever. Um, Noodle and I are probably going to end up buying, we saw that Ninja makes like a, uh, have you ever been, if you've ever been to Sheets, you've probably seen like the Frio milkshake makers there. Um, they basically sell one of those, uh, Ninja does. It's like you, you just freeze up whatever, yeah, the Ninja Creamy it's called. You freeze up whatever kind of mix you want. It can be, you know, cream, it could just be flavored milk. It can be just straight fruit and fruit juice or whatever. Like, you just mix up whatever the fuck you want in this special container that it comes with. And then you put it in the freezer for 24 hours to let it get super hard. And then uh, we're poisoned. Holy hell, we're poisoned. Um, anyways, and then you put it in the machine and it blends it into either, you know, ice cream or a uh, parfait. Or not a parfait, a uh, whatever the fuck the, the fruit frozen fruit treats are called whatever point is it looks fucking amazing it makes milkshakes and and frozen yogurts and ice cream and all kinds of things and it looks super easy to use too which is awesome like you know one two you know allowed yes you are you can like i said i will take you if you want to go love that's really not a problem <laughs> i don't mind uh you're so fucking hungry Silence. I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> Sorbet. That's the yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's uh. That's that's one of the words I was trying to think of. Also, you're back in town. Nice. How do we already get to another load area, man? That was a tiny ass level, wasn't it? Tiny, tiny level. Hopefully, your lunch break is soon. Silence. I hate working while hungry. I had for lunch today bologna sandwiches. Super fancy, I know. <laughs> it's just, it's really easy to pack in a lunchbox and it's cheap. And I don't have to worry about Noodle eating it because she does not like bologna. <laughs> so it works out well. Yep, see, there it is. 
the gross face because she hates it <laughs> and that's fine by me bologna's not like my favorite or anything it's just super easy man because you just you know you take a couple slices of bread you put some ketchup and mustard on it you throw on a slice of bologna thick bologna of course come on you got to get it thick everyone want their bologna to be thick let's be real now anyways you throw that on there and then like that's it done you left your food at home and it was pizza and wings at that dude i i feel i honest to god feel bad for you right now like that really sucks man i'm sorry <laughs> this dude uh and to leave it at home do they have like a, a cafeteria or or is there like other food late night late night food around where you work or something like that because that that honest to goodness sucks bro Especially because, I mean, I don't know for sure, but I imagine your shifts aren't that short. So, like, if you if you don't have a way to get food until you go home, then, man, just, like, fucking kill me now. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, I've been getting so congested the past few days. It's killing me. <sighs> Deep breath. It's okay. I think I need to change the uh, air filter in my... Well, in my air filter. <laughs> I think I need to change the filter in my air purifier. There we go. Uh, no, fuck that beast grunt. We are Keegan all the way, dude. That's that's all we're doing now. Ring the shame bell. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, it's eight hours? Yeah. That sucks, man. I mean, like, it's not, you know, like, you're not going to die of hunger in eight hours or anything, but still, it sucks nonetheless. When I'm at work, I'm eating constantly, dude. <laughs> like, every break, I'm eating something. Uh, whether it's, like, one of the muffins that someone leaves in the back room for people to eat, or, uh, like, if I if I go up to our deli and, and grab some food or something, like, I'm always eating shit. Can, can Mr. Uh, Necromancer-looking bro just die, maybe? That'd be cool. Thank you. Thank you, game. Anyone else want to wanna mess with the Keegan? Oh, I see you, bro. You look a little stuck, man. Let me help you. There you go. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, Hi there. You look like a beastie, bro. Are we going to die? No. Okay, we're good. We're good. Just barely, though. Pretty fucking close. How far from work is your work? Or wait, how far from town is your work? That makes more sense. Loading a new... Already, dude? There's levels fucking everywhere. Holy shit. Do we go down? Or do we go through this misty-ish door? I think we might go through this, like, misty-ass door here. Uh... Fuck it, let's go. We're, we're gonna suck down all of our healing potions, because we're about to end the stream anyways. Here in, like, five, ten minutes. So we're just gonna we're gonna suck all them down, fucking save real quick, and then go through this mist, man. I'm I'm assuming it's a uh, a boss, you know, just based off of my my time with like Elden Ring and shit, makes me feel like going through the mist means boss, bro. But I guess I don't actually know. It it could be, it may not be. There's only one way to find out. Let's go in and see if we get fucked. That's how we do it. Loading, loading, loading. Very slowly loading. With as fast as the little lights flash, you would think it's loading very quickly. But I don't know. It, f it feels like it takes fucking forever sometimes. There we go. Uh, ooh, Necropolis. Wait, how did we go through a fucking? Are we back in town? No, this is this has just got to be like another. How did we go through a a? I'm confused on the continuity of this map. <laughs> we started in a desert, right? And then somehow we went underground, and that took us to inside a. Um. Somehow that took us inside a pyramid. 
And now we're in Necropolis? What? Maybe the mist was like a teleport or something. Can we break this? Uh, tongue? There it goes. Need a, need a little bit of claw action. The tongue wasn't enough, man. Well, shit. I was kind of hoping for like some big bad boss or something like that. But instead, we just get to fight more undead bros. Oh, well. Oh, what is that? It's blue. It's shining. I'm assuming that is either some sort of spell or... Holy fuck, we're dead. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. I think... Uh, that's what, we only got a few minutes left anyways. Yeah, I think we're going to pretty much call it there for the night. I was really hoping for a boss or something there at the... Uh, at the end of the night, or yeah, at the end of it there. That would have been fun. But honestly, I, I'm not particularly good at this game. It doesn't seem like, so it's probably for the best. There's not. You'd be stuck there forever. Because, <laughs> yeah. Anyways, guys. What are we talking about? Ain't shit open. You don't even get a cell signal, for real? <laughs> the CVS do. Oh, my lord. I forgot. Noodle's been trying to collect all of the Barbasol cans for... Uh, the Jurassic World, like Jurassic World has special Barbasol cans, the shaving cream, and they've been trying to collect them all. That or she's wanting some Squishmallows. She may just be trying to get some Squishmallows. She does that a lot too. Uh, <laughs> that's probably why she wants to know if CVS, uh, if you DoorDash CVS or not. <laughs> you might be able to go to one tomorrow to get the can. Let's hope so. I hope you get them all, Noodle. You've been wanting them. You deserve them. So I hope you do love. Anyways, those guys. Uh, I think that's all I got time for tonight. What is today? Today's Tuesday. Wednesday night, I take off. So we'll be back on Thursday night with some more PS2 gauntlet goodness of something. I have no idea what game we're playing next because uh, I don't really plan that far ahead. I just roll a RNG generator thingy and it tells me what game to play. So my collection is actually starting to dwindle a little bit. I think here in a week or two, whenever I get paid, I'm going to have to buy a couple games because, I mean, I still have enough for weeks. Don't worry. Just saying it's starting to get low. It's it's time to buy some more, man. I was I was trying not to buy any for a little while because I was getting too much, but now that's not the case. <laughs> I need to go through them too because all the ones that I can't actually play on stream, I need to go through and just uh, try them out on my own time or whatever. And then, I don't know, maybe we can talk about them on the podcast or some shit. Who knows? Uh, but yeah, anyways, we'll be doing something PS2 related here in a few days. Uh, thank you guys for being here. I appreciate all of you. I appreciate, uh, the bits, Mr. Noodle, of course, the subscription from silence, man. I appreciate that. And everybody just coming and hanging out. That's what I, that's what I really care about. I appreciate that more than anything else, guys. Seriously. Thank you for being here, talking with me, hanging out and chilling. Uh, hopefully we'll see you again Thursday if y'all have the time and, uh, yeah. Have a good night. I'm not gonna like kill the screen, kill the stream right away, Nate. So you and you in silence can figure that out. Um, but you might want to switch it over to uh to the Discord, to like a DM or something like that, so that you can get some, you can get some uh, correspondence going off a of stream. That way, uh, I don't kill your discussion right in the middle of it. <laughs> Anyways, guys, bye bye and have a good night. Enemies. You can scroll through the target list by moving up or down once the target has been selected.